If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use Cold Wolf for 10% off. What's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now, before we get into it, man, drop a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Let me know if you're part of the notification squad. Let's get into this. Now, a lot of people do not know how to run a flood concept in Madden, and that's my fault because I should be doing basics on how to throw passes in Madden 18 for people that are struggling to pass the ball. Now, I did go over it in Madden 15, but it's like I said, I'm assuming everybody already knows, like everybody's been with me since the beginning of time, right? And that was pretty selfish of me, man, and I apologize to everybody. We're going to start getting back into some of the basics on my channel, and we're going to talk about this pass play and how to read it, and it's very successful, man. Something that you can always come back to, just don't spam it a lot because it can be defeated. Uh, it can be stopped uh, with simple adjustments, but you can always keep coming back to it when you need to go. It's, it's like a chain-moving concept pretty much is what a flood concept now there's different variations uh, i can run a flood concept out of a z spot which is not considered a flood concept because of the way z spots are in this game they're not considered but you can make them a flood concept play we're going to talk about that so over here if we come over here to deep pass you're going to see flood this is the flood concept right here and all this means is uh to the right on one side of the field you're going to have a streak you're going to have a corner route or an out route and then you're going to have a flat pass. So let's go ahead and pick one out of here. Uh, let's talk about the Y cell out of the gun stack Y flex. If you watch some of my gameplay that will be coming in the future as well, you'll notice that I run the Y cell a lot because it's just an awesome flood concept. And we can run it against anything in the game because the concept is the con it's always going to be there. It's always going to be existent. You know what I mean? So the way I set up this one out of the uh, stack Y flex, the Y cell, is I put Y on a drag. Now... And what I'll do is I'll take B and I'll put him on a real streak instead of that one that has that delay. If you look over here, he has like a, I guess to try to beat a press, but he's not pressing. So I could just streak him. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so our focus right here is to the right side of the field. And the way you run or read a concept play is I'm looking at the defense. If you can recognize the defense, you're already one step ahead of the game. So this looks like it could be a cover four. Now. Another thing you got to be careful with is people make adjustments in cover four, they'll run hard flats. So as soon as I snap the ball, I'm going to look to the right side of the field. Now, what would kill this play is a cover three Mabel. Uh, if the guy uh, uh, adjusts to hard flats and then uses that out route, then you're beat. So that is the purpose of the drags from the left side. I have a levels concept on the left side and a flood concept to the right. So if the guy jumps the A route with his user, I have people coming over the middle of the field and they're gonna be where the guy that's using the routes on the right side, where he should be. Now, if the guy stays in the middle of the field, then obviously your levels concept is dead. That will open up the reads for the right side. But like I said, a cover three Mabel will kill a flood concept easily. But a lot of people won't run a cover three Mabel if you're blending these type of plays in with other things. You know what I'm saying? So the way we're going to read this, as soon as we snap the ball, we are looking to the flat. What is going on with the flat? Is, is the corner staying down? Is it mad defense? Is one of those linebackers engaging the running back? That's what you need to look at at the beginning of the play. Typically, people who are good passers in Madden, they're going to snap the ball. They're not looking at the flat. They're looking for something they can destroy you with up the field, and then they'll come to their check down. But if you're not that good at passing in Madden, you want to do it backwards. You want to look to your flat first. You want to look to the flat and see what's going on there first. Uh, and, and once I snap the ball, I'm going to look to the flat first. And if someone's there, then I'm going to look to the A route. Because what happens is with a high low read is if one of the corners of the linebackers are playing the flat, then that means that the A route is going to be open. If they don't play the flat and they play the A route, then the flat's going to be open. This is the high-low read. And what the streak does, the streak, the B route, he stretches the defense backwards. He forces the corners and safeties to play him, which stretches out the defense. So they're either going to have to play the flat or they're going to have to play that out route. This is why this play is very successful to me when I use it online. Uh, when I need to start passing the ball, I'll run to these types of plays when I need them. If I'm struggling, I will run to these types of plays and they never fail me because I have a levels concept to the left. If the user picks up that A route, then I'm going to use the levels concept because it's it's a high-low read to the left side as well. Who's down there? Is someone guarding this drag route? Is someone guarding that in route? Now, you can cancel that in route up top right, and 
put them both like that, but now you're defeating the purpose. Uh, and you can have it like that. You know, you can smart route him and put him at the at the first down line, and now you have it like that a little bit better. So I'm going to snap the ball here, and I'm going to look to the flat. Uh, I'm going to read this play right here. Uh, they're coming down to man defense, so A route. Because it's man defense, he is a man beater. He's a man destroyer, this play right here. Right here, I'm just gonna snap the ball because I already know it's garbage. So just let him, let him, let him sack me because that's goal line defense. And you know, you're laughing these plays. <laughs> just don't worry about goal line defense. You're obviously not gonna run plays like this at the goal line. So we're gonna streak the B route. And we're gonna drag the Y route. Now this is going to be true for all other flood concept plays, whether they be corner routes or an out route like Witten does right here. Now I prefer the Witten routes because. They're a lot better than corner routes because if someone's playing man defense and they shade outside, they're going to pick off that running, uh, uh, that corner route if their cornerbacks are decent. So you need to be careful with that. There is nothing they can do about a route like this. That out route that you see right there that Witten's on, if they play man defense, even if they shade outside, they're not stopping that play. There's just no way they're stopping that play right there. So I'm going to snap the ball again. We're going to look to the flat. If the flat is going to be covered, whether it be man defense, then I'm going to look for Witten right there. Nobody hits the flat, and I'm just going to hit the flat and get my yards. And that's how you execute a proper flood concept. We're going to set it up again. We're going to look at the flat. Uh, if no one's there in the flat, I'm going to hit the flat. If they are, then I'm going to look for the A route. All else fails. I got the drag coming across the middle of the field. Nobody's there in the flat again, and I'm just going to get the ball and get my yards. So once we're going to keep running this until they start playing the flats, whether it be man defense or whatever. You also have your drag route. Uh, uh, coming through you can smart route the X route to bring his in route down a little bit because what it does the smart route will put him at the first down line Snap the ball again that guy's coming too far away on man defense I could get a lot of yards because of that if you notice that and you're good at Madden You know I knew I knew it was man defense and the guy that was designated to him was too far to the left And that was just easy yards right there There's gonna be times that that happens but there's gonna be times where the guy is gonna be right there waiting for him So snap the ball again. Let's see what they give us they're blitzing a lot of people. There's nobody in the flats again. And I'm just going to hit the flats until they start playing the flats. Do not spam this play. Do not spam these concepts because you will start getting uh, uh, adjusted to. Like, they will adjust to the flood concepts if you're consistently running them. That's man defense. No, actually, the flat's wide open again, just like that. I thought it was man defense because I saw that linebacker take off. He kind of took off a little bit fast. All right, here we go again. We're going to snap the ball. Set it up the way we want right here. We're gonna run it to the right. Nobody's in the flat, and that's how you read. Now, if they cover him, then you want to look for the A route. I'm gonna keep running it till I get that. Let's go ahead and run it again. I'm gonna keep running it until I get someone in the flat. Nobody's in the flat again, and I'm just gonna keep hitting the flat. Like I said, it's hard to adjust to this. It's not hard if you know what you're doing, but you're gonna catch people off guard a lot. There goes man defense again, but he's too late, and that's 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 a good thing about running this play against man defense is because if the guy is on the left side designated to him in man defense, you're going to slap him around. Here we go again. What is this? Nobody in the flats again. That's actually a cloud flat that that guy's playing right there. Now, these type of plays I'm going to show you guys are available in other sets. I'm gonna, we're going to go over that right now. There's man defense again. And I'm going to hit the A route because that play, that that route right there is it's just brutal. It's brutal. But let's talk about the other flood concepts that they have and one that I like to run online as well. Now let's pick another one. We're going to go ahead and pick the flood concept. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this. This is what you need to do. Okay, if you're going to run a flood concept and your opponent's playing a lot of man defense, you need to put your fastest tight end uh, in the corner route. Because if you're going to run a flood concept, you need to utilize your receivers proper, properly. So we're going to take Witten out. We're going to put Hannah in because he's a faster tight end. Put your fastest tight end. Uh, uh, if you're going to run a flood concept. So right here, we're going to run levels corner right there. It's not a flood concept, but I'm going to make it a flood concept. We're going to run it against anything. So you have what's called a levels concept to the left, but we actually have half of a flood to the right. So what we want to do is make it a complete flood. So we're going to bring someone from the left and put him on a streak. So in this case, it's going to be Beasley. Now, the reason I put Hannah there is because he's fast. If he needs to break that corner route against mad defense, he has a good chance in doing so. Witten does not. Uh, any decent linebacker is going to stay with Witten, but for the most part, Hannah's a lot faster. So let's see if we get someone to come down on mad defense and see if we can get Hannah to break that offensive, uh, uh, I mean, that mad defense. 
So we're gonna snap the ball. We're gonna look to the flat. We're gonna see if it's man defense. If not, then we're gonna look for the flat in the corner route. If it is man defense, we're gonna look for the corner route or the X route. Sometimes the RB route if the guy's designated. But right there, they're playing hard flat. There's Hannah right there. And that's how you execute a flood concept. It's just very simple and easy, man. I'm telling you guys right now. Bring someone from the left side. I'm gonna do Beasley because he's fast. I have my fast tight end, you know, on the right side. And then I'm gonna bring X on a drag like that. We're gonna snap the ball. We got someone right there in the cloud, but I knew because the way Hannah runs around and because he's fast, I can beat that cloud flat. I can beat it. Uh, I have Evan Ingram on my ultimate team, so he's he's just as fast as uh, Hannah. But we're gonna go ahead and run this again. Read the right of the field. I'm gonna look at the flat first. I'm looking at the flat. What's going on with the flat? Nobody, well, he actually, he, he's supposed to drop down a flat, but he reacted too late and I was able to throw that flat pass. So let's go ahead and do it again. We're making our flood concept with this levels corner. It's actually a levels concept, but we're turning it into a levels and a flood concept. Let's go ahead and snap the ball. What do we got? We got looks like an all out blitz and we're gonna take advantage at and get some yards. All right, here we go again. This looks like cover two defense. Bring someone over here. It's gonna be Beasley. We're gonna look at our concepts right here. We got levels to the left. We're gonna put X on a drag. We're gonna read the flats. He stays down in the flat right there. I know I can hit Hannah right there. I know I can hit Hannah right there because that corner stayed too far down. Now, another, another pass play that you can utilize uh, that's not considered a flood concept but can be made a flood concept is the Z spot. The Z spot is, I, I would, that's actually the first play that I was using as far as flood concepts go. I would use Z spot a lot in the previous Maddens. So a little gun spit close on you because I, I still use that one uh, and we'll run it against anything again. And all I'm gonna do is streak the B route. Now, what I like to do personally is when I'm in a tight set and I'm gonna run a flood concept, I'm gonna bring Brian out. That way, he gives me a little bit more time to read the right side of the field, and if I can't hit anything on the right side of the field, then I'm gonna come to Brian on that drag right there. Snap the ball. Nobody's in the flat. And the Z spot is just awesome, man. I'm telling you, Z spot can be turned into a flood concept as well. It's not considered a flood concept because of the way the B route is ran on the Z spot. Now, I don't know if there's other Z spots that already have streaks. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen one, to be honest with you guys. But it can be made a flood concept by simply putting the B route on a streak and dragging the X route if you want on the left side of the field, which gives you a bell out read if all else fails. So let's go ahead and snap the ball right here. See what we got nobody in the flat again. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit my tight end right here in the flat. So there it is, man. That is how you read it. Remember, flood concept, you got someone that's streaking on the right side of the field. He's going to stretch the defense out. Then you have what's either an out route or a corner route from your tight end or your slot receiver. And then you also have someone that you're going to pass to in the flat. So the way you're going to read it, if you're not advanced, is you're going to look at the flat first. You're going to look for the flat route first. Uh, if they drop down on a hard flat or in man defense, if you think you can hit the flat route, you hit the flat route. If not, you're going to read the corner or the out route. All else fails and you don't think you can throw any of them. You got your drags from the left side of the field to the right. And that's how you execute a flood concept, man. Drop a like on the video, man. Subscribe to my channel, man. I'll take you guys out on the next one. Peace.